All right, as promised, I have my whiteboard. I'm going to show you how to multiply using partial products, which is what we've been using in class. And then we're going to show you regrouping, which is what you just watched on that video. So to do partial products, we have to take seven times six, which we know is 42. And since we're in the tens place, we have one zero. Seven times eight is 56. Then we add our two numbers together. Zero plus six is six, two plus five is seven, and four plus nothing is four. So when we multiply using regrouping, we should get 476 as our answer. So with partial products, we started on this side. On regrouping, we're going to start in the ones place. So 7 times 8 is 56. So my 5 goes up, my 6 goes down. Now I take 7 times 6, which is 42, plus 5. So 42 plus 5 is 47. And that's our answer. So we have 476 here, we have 476 there. So we got the same answer, it's just a different method. I'm going to do another problem both ways so you can see how we get the same answer and just for another explanation on how to do regrouping. Let's do 52 times 3. All right, so we're going to do 52 times 3. We're going to do it with partial products, and then we're going to do it with regrouping, which you just saw. So let's start with partial products. 3 times 5 is 15, and we're in the tens place, so we add a 0. 3 times 2 is 6. We're in the ones place, so we don't need a 0. Now we add our partial products up. 0 plus 6 is 6. 5 plus nothing is 5. And 1 plus nothing is 1. Now we're going to do regrouping. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 5 is 15. We got the same answer. I'll do one more problem that way you can see how when we have to carry a number up top, another practice like that. All right, <clears throat> so we're going to do 29 times 4. So starting with partial products, 4 times 2 is 8, and we're in the tens place, so we need a 0. 4 times 9 is 36 and we don't need a zero because we're already in the ones place. So now we add our partial products up. Zero plus six is six. Eight plus three is 11. So for regrouping, remember we start here. So four times nine we said was 36. So our three goes on top and our six goes on the bottom. So now I take four times two, which is eight, plus three. So eight plus three is 11. We got the same answer.